Now, a count on two investigation. A Berkeley County inmate unaccounted for seven hours died upon his return to the Hill Finkley Detention Center. Reports show he was in a motel room with his girlfriend. This was all made possible by the medical sign out program. News 2 Sophia Desasor has been digging into this case for two years and speaks with the jail's director to find out how this happened and what's being done to prevent it in the future. Sophia? That's right, Brendan. The man you see here, Matthew Bell, was serving time at the Hill Finkley Detention Center when he was picked up by his girlfriend for an eye doctor's appointment, only to return seven hours later. He was pronounced dead the following morning from an apparent drug overdose. I was actually tipped off about this case back in 2019 and have been asking questions ever since. The SLED report I just obtained paints a picture of a lenient system that was taken advantage of. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... That. An inmate at Hill Finkley Detention Center. It was during this call that inmate Matt Bell planned to spend October 3rd, 2019, out of jail with his girlfriend. We're getting a room at a discounted rate. She knows what we're using it for, and we don't need it that long. Bell was able to sign out of jail by making a doctor's appointment. This is video SLED investigators recorded hours after Bell was found dead in his jail cell by Corporal James Patchock. So if a dude wants to get out, Right? He can have his girlfriend, whoever, schedule an eye doctor appointment, uh -huh. and he gets a free pass out of jail. Uh -huh. See, Bell was serving time for not paying child support. Family court mandates inmates are responsible for their own medical care, and Hill Finkley Detention Center allowed what's called a family transport. She um, did a form up saying that he was, she had already verified he had an eye appointment somewhere on Rivers Avenue. Okay. And he was allowed to leave at 12:30, as long as his ride had a valid driver's license, valid insurance card, and a valid registration. His girlfriend picked him up at 11:40 a.m. She was directed to notify Catshot when they made it to the appointment. At one, she sent a photo of the two of them at the eyeglasses shop. Hours later, Bell had not returned. According to Catshot, he called the pair at 4:30 as his shift was coming to a close. 4:30, they call you. We're stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. You don't believe them, and then they don't come back until they don't come back for another two and a half hours. Yes, sir. Did you tell anybody else? That, I mean, you've got an inmate from the detention center who's who's not in the detention center. No, sir, I did not. Bell returned at 7 p.m., nearly eight hours after he was signed out. According to the SLED investigation, detention center employees and fellow inmates noted he appeared to be intoxicated, but no one reported it. We were all thinking he wasn't coming back anyway. Yeah. And then I saw him in the hallway, and he was rubbing his face. I was like, man, well, you all right, bro? And he's like, no, man. I I just want to go to bed, man. I just want to go to sleep. Bell was found unresponsive in his cell the following morning. Cause of death, acute combined drug intoxication. It's um, about the worst possible news that you get. The death uh, raising questions about how an inmate was allowed to be out of jail, unaccounted for, in a motel for hours. He was already gone when we got here. Okay. He apparently. Who, who would be the one to tell y'all, hey, you've got this inmate out? Who should have told y'all that? Uh, the shift we were relieving. Okay. Yeah. And, and didn't, we all know we didn't, we were not aware. Okay. Um, he didn't get back. I guess he was gone like seven hours. Yeah. Is that odd? It's very odd. The outing was odd, but not much was done to locate Bell or return him to the facility. Um, Randy Demery, the jail's director, points to a paragraph in Bell's family court order that states, quote, the jailer for the Hill Finkley Detention Center shall release the defendant to obtain medical treatment for any medical problems. And the court order itself says that while they're out there, they aren't the responsibility of the uh, county jail, the responsibility of the person who has them out into the public, and there's the responsibilities on the uh, um, inmate themselves to come back. I asked Emery as to what would have happened if Bell had woken up that morning. He says he would have been disciplined by being moved to a higher security cell, which would in turn have lengthened his sentence since that incident. Hill Finkley no longer allows family transports. I spoke to Bell's girlfriend as well as the woman who took him to family court in the first place. Both chose not to speak on camera.